Hi, it's Marita. Thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. I'm going to talk about US embassies updates when it comes to reopening, etc. So you definitely want to stay tuned. Coming up. All right. As a result, some of you guys might be noticing that uh, if you already filed for your green card within the United States and you receive a green card from different service center, it's usually due to the fact that that is actually within US USCIS, there are changes happening. So actually that's what, I, what I've been seeing that we filed for to one office and then it came back from, the response came back from different office. So I can see that it's happening. Now, when it comes to US embassies, if you have filed for your interview, you, you apply, you file a DS-160 and right now you are waiting uh, overseas for your visa interview. Uh, here's the deal, guys. It really depends what embassy, what state, what country. Um, there are some embassies that um, only do the emergency appointments. and uh, Actually, most of the embassies do emergency appointments. If you are not within the emergency appointment, you just a regular appointment, um, then you might need to wait. You're going to have to wait for at least another month. I know there are some embassies who are reopening in July, some embassies in Europe that are reopening in July. I know that one in England is uh, reopening in July and, um, and then other embassies are reopening in August. And some other embassies will start reopening um, in September or October, right? So it really depends what country you're in and you have to check with your particular embassy. If you are somebody who you already paid for the visa interview, you filed your DS uh, form and you are in a waiting, then you just have to pay attention to the news and updates. And usually if you are within their system, they will notify you via email or you can also check for the number that should be available at their website, right? But basically you, we have to be patient guys. This is the, the situation, this is the nature of these unpre unprecedented times. Um, when it comes to scheduling new interviews uh, until the re embassy will re fully reopen, you are not able to yet schedule interview. Again, if you want to check what, consi what constitutes the emergency situation, you want to go uh, and log in and tune in and read the instruction on their website, US embassy in your country. If you have online profile, if you created online profile, because many of these embassies actually require you to create online profile and log into the system and register, especially if you are filing DS form, uh, if you already have that, you should be able to check again, like what constitutes the emergency situation. So uh, don't just make this up, you know, don't pretend that you have emergency situation just because you are impatient. You know, everybody is in this situation right now. So you have to really actually support the emergency situation by evidence, right? So you want to read the instructions and how to document the emergency situation. It's all available at the website of US Embassy in your particular country. Uh, okay, so this is something that I wanted to say today. I, al I already made a video where I'm talking about the green card hold, possible hold on a green of green cards in the United States because there are some people that are a little bit confused what's going on with the green card processing with the United States. Are they being actually processed or not? What green cards are being processed? I know that there are green card, these green cards are being processed, especially if you are within the category of national interest favor or EB5, because this is what I've been seeing and this is my experience uh, these days. So if you are in this category, uh, your green card is definitely being processed. You might receive the response from different service center, USCIS center, it's because due to the fact that there is a mess within your CIS and um, it, this is just a situation that requires a huge amount of uh, patience and it is creating pressure, right? So I can understand, I can relate, I can, um, I can totally feel you guys and I know it's frustrating. It creates a lot of uh, uncertainty, uh, fear within people. So I just want to give you advice. Um, this, is some, this is something that, that I learned over the years. You know, in uncertain times, the only certainty we have is that there is no certainty, right? And so um, we just have to go with the flow and we just have to adjust and we just have to stay patient and hope for the best, right? 
So, uh, because there are so many different news out there, you know, and some of these articles and news are not really coming from the official source, I urge you to pay attention to the source. What's the source, right? Because if the source is not official source, if it's not coming from USCIS website, for example, these are not official uh, uh, statements, you should not really uh, take that into consideration because again, that is adding and fueling the fear. Last thing we want is to freak out even further and more, right? At this point, we need to lower the fear and we need to really stay productive and and grounded. That is something that I, w- I do want to say. I will be updating you on what's happening with the, with the uh, possible ban, uh, H-1B visa, H-2B visa, L visa ban. I'm also updating you on uh, this immigration ban that was issued for 60 days. And uh, right now, I think next week it's going to expire or it's going to be extended. We're going to see. So I will be definitely updating you guys what's happening. And um, meanwhile, stay safe, stay positive and stay informed, right? Uh, If you are aspiring entrepreneur, somebody who wants to start a business and who is thinking about E2 visa, which I highly recommend, by the way, um, I do have discounted program in place. Right now, there is a 50% discount. I'm gonna post the link for you below this video. Um, If you need a consultation with me, you can book the consultation. Again, the link is gonna be below this video. And there is also going to be a free webinar where I explain like, why should you consider to visa, especially during these times, etc. How that's going to help you and uh, how you can create a future uh, right now by actually start putting everything together. Because as far as I know, you know, hopefully all the embassies will be functioning September, October as before. And uh, if you're somebody who is thinking to start a business, you should start planning it right now and work on your case right now. All right, guys. So I hope that this was inspirational. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Like this video. Give me the like if you if you found this video useful. Share this information with other people. And also make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. You are notified every time I release new content. You can also check out my Instagram. That is helpful for people who seek additional information. And stay tuned for upcoming videos. Lastly, I want to say I have another YouTube channel where I am promoting positivity, high vibe, and also the mindset, which I believe is the number one thing if you want to succeed, not just in the United States, like in general in life. So you want to check it out. It's going to be linked somewhere here. And that's all I got. Stay safe, stay positive, stay high vibe. Talk to you soon. Bye.